So now let's see how we can work around with tremolo effect inside of Audacity. So in order to work around with tremolo effect, I'm going to go to file and import out an audio file right here. So I'm just going to go around into audio and select uh, the audio file right here. Now, let me just delete off the portion right here because I just need a bit of audio wave file right here. So I can go around right here, click here and then press the space bar and this is what I hear right now. So if you uh, want to apply the trem tremolo effect, then you can select out the portion where you want to uh, apply the effect to. So you can select all as well, but in my case, I'm just going to apply it onto this particular section. And to apply the effect, you can go to effect right here and select tremolo right here. So here in tremolo, uh, you can select the uh, wave type right here. You can go for sine wave type, sawtooth and everything. So I'm just going to go around into sine wave. So you can uh, select the starting phase right here. So which is going to be from zero right here and wet level, maybe I want to really increase it. And you can select the frequency right here as well. So let's say it's going to be five hertz. I'm going to press OK and you can see that the uh, specific settings has been applied. And what you can do is you can experiment out with different settings to hear out how it sounds. So I'm just going to go around and hit the space bar to hear how this sounds like. So now you can hear that you, you got the sine wave applied right here and you got the tremolo effect uh, taking action. So that is how you can use the tremolo effect inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.